la parola per questa petizione alla signora Antonia Battaglia. Grazie Presidente, uh, farò il mio intervento in, in inglese, l'ho preparato in inglese. I'm very glad to be here today on this important day where the tremendous issue of dioxin pollution is being brought by the European Parliament to the attention of European citizens and public through the presentation of the 2007 petition on dioxin. Taranto, the town in the south of Italy where I come from, and from which, for which I'm here today, for which I struggle, has been many times sadly defined the realm of dioxin. We have had in the past years the highest concentrations of dioxin in Europe, many say in the world. Dioxin in Taranto is everywhere. No human or, or animal being has been spared, and its effects are devastating now as we speak, and what has not been devastated yet will be very soon, because nothing can survive in good and sound health at that concentration of pollution. In Taranto we have Ilva, one of the biggest steel producers in Europe, whose name has been brought once more to the attention of the public on 26 September 2013, when the Commission launched an infringement procedure against Italy for breach of the EU Emissions Directive and for the non-respect of the environmental responsibility of ILVA. It is on 26 September, thanks to the action of Environment Commissioner Janet Potocnik, whose brave and professional action brought the drama taking place in Taranto to the international attention, well, it is on that day that Taranto has become a European city. And for this reason, to continue asking European support, I'm here today. Dioxin has been found in Taranto's inhabitants' blood and in maternal milk. Dioxin in Taranto covers all and has contaminated all. More or less 2,000 livestock have been slaughtered due to the presence of dioxin in dairy products and meat. The chemical investigation ordered by the Tribunal of Taranto has underlined the similarity between the chemical footprint of dioxin produced by ILVA with the one found in the areas around the plants. Pastures are forbidden within 10 kilometers from the industrial area where we live. Dioxin remains unaltered where it falls and it persists for ages, being it's an agent that degrades only partially and in a very, very long time. According to recent Excuse data, me. yes, you have to speak slowly. Yes, thank you. According to recent data of the Puglia Regional Environmental Protection Agency, ARPA, there are still important quantities of pluricolorinated biphenyl present on pastures as well as dioxin everywhere around the plants simply because the soil is heavily contaminated. Notwithstanding this, as of today, we are still waiting data on continuous sampling and we do not have any information on it. It has simply not been realized. It is here that the Italian authorities have not stepped in for us. And it is here and for this reason that today Taranto has a very, very high percentage in cancers, children diseases, neurological and cardiovascular pathologies. In the area closer to Ilva, there is a cancer-affected person each 18. The percentage rises the closer we get to the plants. I'm here today representing the two associations, Peace Link and Fondo Antidiocina, that they are the origin of the Ilva infringement and that are working with the Commission on the issue. Taranto is a town of more or less 200,000 inhabitants on the sea, on two seas. Its economy has been rural and was constituted mainly of fishery before the Ilva plant was built and privatized in 1995. The situation in Taranto was dramatic already then, and it got worse, where in 2002, the carcinogenic Ilva coke plants of Cornigliano, Genova, were transferred to Taranto, incredibly and simply because Genova did not want them anymore. In 2005, Peace Link and Fondo Antidiocina discovered in the upper European database that in Taranto there was dioxin. Italian authorities had simply not communicated it. In 2008, the two associations started to ana analyze autonomously dairy products and in 2011, seafood, 
All seafood produced in the wild area around Ilva was also put under exam. Yes, because Ilva is extended on 15 square kilometers, a huge impressive plant producing next to a town. A plant producing with obsolete and dangerous plants that are not conform and do not operate in respect of European legislation. The analysis conducted on the alimentary chain revealed that dioxin was everywhere and that seafood, fish, cattle, milk, all was contaminated heavily. But dioxin is not our only enemy because in Taranto emissions into the environment of our other dangerous polluting agents play an additional dramatic role. And emissions liberate IPA, PCB, furans, benzene, benzopyrene, beryllium, lead, PM10, among others. Taranto's children have lead in their blood, dust in their lungs, and the thin particulate has attacked their cells. I'm not the one saying this. There are judicial investigations, there are scientific reports, there has recently been a national level medicine convention. There are thousands of pages of documents, investigation, pictures, and videos. There is a whole population that can witness that what has been happening and happens in Taranto does not fall in the class of normality. Not in Europe, because we think that what happens in Taranto could never ever happen anywhere else, and not without the perpetrated and guilty silence of the Italian institutions that knew and did not stop ILVA's production because ILVA is part of the national strategic resources. The authorities knew all along, but they still pretend not to see. They are actually doing all they can to let ILVA go on producing as it has done in the last 20 years. I'm here today to bring to you the testimony of the fact that the situation in Taranto has not changed at all and that all supposed measures taken by the institutions are not effective and if they were, they are anyway not been put in place. We are dying of dioxin, of pollution of air. Can one die because one breathes? Yes, we can. I'm here today to cry out loud our need of help, our thirst of justice. I bring here the desperate whispers of mothers waiting in the hospital Moscati of Taranto that their children are being operated of cancer. I bring here the hope of Taranto ILVA workers to be able to keep their job without dying. I bring here many people's tears, the voice of a mourning town that needs Europe's help, that needs what our judges in Taranto fight for and what is denied in our country, judge justice. We do not want to die for production anymore. We have been doing it for decades. It is time to change and we need your help. Thank you.